problem 9. On her first day of work, Janab Hannibal sold one widget. So day 1, she sold one widget. On day number 2, she sold three widgets. On day number 3, obviously order your data like this. Very neat. If you're very neat, you typically solve the question correctly. On day 3, she sold five widgets. And on each succeeding day, she sold two more widgets than she had sold on the previous day. So the widgets on on um, on day number n will be equal to what? It will be equal to 2 plus the number of widgets sold on the previous day, n minus 1. So how many widgets in total had Hannibal sold after working 20 days? You can think of it like an arithmetic series. Think of the days as the term number. We have 1, 3, 5. What's next? We have 7, 9. 11 by this recursive formula, right? And this is the term. This is the order of those terms. This is term number one, term number two, term number three, term number four, term number five, term number six. It just so happens that a term number coincides with the day number. So day number slash the term number is one, two, three, four, five, six, etc. We have 20 of them. Well, we have an arithmetic series. So what is the 20th term? Well, the 20th term is equal to the first term plus the 20th term, 20 minus one times the common difference. The first term is equal to one plus 19 times the common difference of two will give me one plus um, 38, which gives 39. So this goes on and on until 39, and this goes on and on until number 20. How many widgets in total has she sold? Well, we now have to sum all these terms up. And since it's an, an arithmetic series, we use the arithmetic series summation formula, which states the sum is the first term plus the last term times the number of terms divided by 2. First term is 1, last term is 39, times the number of terms, you have 20 terms divided by 2, which is 10 times 40, which gives 400. So your final answer will be choice D. The secret to this question is not the arithmetic. The secret is staying organized.